A wise man once said, when in doubt, peak with confidence. There isn't much to this statement, but I think the mental aspect is something that's overlooked in competitive games like Valorant. Hi guys, this is Egwick, and today I'm talking about confidence and its effect on performance. If you like this vid, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe at any time. Enjoy. With all the talk of inconsistency, bad habits, and lack of improvement, I feel like the mental side of things hasn't been fully fleshed out yet. Whether you like it or not, confidence has a big impact on your individual performance. On some days, you're feeling yourself and hitting everything, but on others, you can miss the easiest of shots. This is a problem. You could chalk it up to inconsistency, but I think there's a clear difference between someone who's low on confidence and someone who's just plain inconsistent. An inconsistent player is someone who hasn't put the time in to hone their skills. While a player who's low on confidence is someone who usually performs at a better level but is currently slumping. This might seem a little unclear, so let me explain further. In traditional sports like football or soccer for Americans, pundits usually attribute poor form to low confidence or bad mental states, especially if a player has proven themselves in the past. These are players who have a track record of performing well to a certain extent. Say for example, Wardell suddenly missing easy shots. You're more likely to attribute that to a bad day more than anything else. For those who haven't proven themselves, like up and coming players or youngsters in football, it's less about confidence and more about individual skill or lack thereof, which results in bad and inconsistent performances. Knowing if it's a confidence issue or a skill issue is important when diagnosing what you need to work on. If it's a skill issue, then you need to focus on improvement in certain areas where you're lacking. This is generally on the physical side of things. However, if it's a confidence issue, here are some steps to help you bring back your confidence. These steps were taken from Harvey Dorfman, a professional mental training consultant. He wrote books about the mental side of sports and is considered an expert on the topic. He mainly focused on baseball though. Number 1. Figure out the source of your confidence. Dorfman says that athletes, or in this case players, derive confidence from one or more of the following three sources. Practice, from what other people say or do, and from immediate past performance. Players will almost always have different sources of confidence with varying levels of impact on individual performance. For some, Positive reinforcement in a good team atmosphere goes a long way, but for others, it could be useless and do next to nothing. Either way, knowing your source is important because it'll make it easier to address your issues. Also, this isn't a defined list by any stretch, and you could draw confidence from other sources as well. <clears throat> Second, find a system that works. As I've said, confidence works differently for everyone. However, being self-aware and having good mental skills were predictive of whether or not a player was going to make it in the major leagues. I believe that the same applies to Valorant or any other competitive game. I've seen golds that have insane aim and pretty good game sense, but their poor mentality is what brings them down. When something goes wrong in their game, they immediately lose confidence in themselves and in the rest of their team. Never mind the skill gap, they tilt you, self-sabotage, and have many bad habits unrelated to their raw skill. That said, as a player, I'm not the most confident. For me, it really helps my mental game when I have a duo who believes in my skill, even when I'm not doing too well. Just having someone lift you up is great, and it also does wonders for my play when I don't feel the need to prove myself. Other players might recall times when they've hit insane shots or think about the amount of practice they put in. However you cope, you want to have control over the method. Your confidence will definitely return after hitting an ace, but that's not a surefire way to bring it back because there are a lot of external factors that can affect it. Remember, some things work well for others and some don't. Confidence is a personal issue and you'll need to figure out what works for you. Lastly. Approach experiences with the right mindset. Looking back at your practice and past experiences can be helpful, but you need to be careful with how you think about it. Sometimes, I get even more frustrated when I look back because I know I should be hitting these easy shots. When you attempt to draw confidence from these things, it should be from a perspective of encouragement and not of expectation. 
It's like telling yourself that I've done this in the past and I can do it again instead of I expect myself to do this and do that. This one doesn't come from Dorfman directly, but it's personally helped me a lot so I decided to include it in the list. This video was a bit hard to make, especially since I had to do a bit of studying myself. I knew what worked for myself, but that won't always be the same for others. I just feel like in anything, whether that's gaming or life, being aware enough to realize and reflect on your own issues will go a long way when trying to improve oneself. Anyway, that's it for now. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any thoughts or comments about confidence and mental states, I'd love to hear them down below. This is Egwick, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.